against war and we're just occupying this space to arm protest against the Kansas <laughs> diversity and military research. So, um, yeah, so um, we're going to be here for the next length of time. We'll probably advise you to vacate your offices because we're going to be making a bit of noise and making it hard to do any work. Nothing personal, of course. <laughs> So why are you doing that job, making weapons equipment that's being used in war? Mm. Ask Christian, because I've explained at great length to Christian exactly what we're doing. You're making defence materials, yeah? Defence materials we're and the no. You're working on technologies for defence materials. We're working on technology to improve defence materials. Right. So um, what are those defence materials going to be used for? Um, if you want to know, we'll have a sensible discussion. I think those defence materials are going to be used, for example, what's the Australian military doing right now? It's at war in Afghanistan, it's involved still in a minor way in Iraq, it's involved in a neo-imperialist attack on East Timor. These so that's what these? your uh, defence research is actually for. Sorry. What you're uh, suggesting are political issues that um, I have no control over. Well, unfortunately, defence materials is a fairly political Engineering project. Research is facilitating our occupation of Afghanistan by trying to protect our soldiers there. That's what you're saying. That we are. That this research facility is facilitating that occupation. Soldiers so are killing innocent saying? children. No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that what you were talking about, political decisions that are made by the government, your government that you vote for. Um, the work we are doing is contract work to protect the soldiers. And who are the contract who are involved there? in that? Who are the contract partners involved? These are companies like BAE Systems that are making billions from these wars, profiting from these wars, and you're helping them. No? I've tried to have a rational conversation with you and your people and to take out all of this political emotion. <laughs> you carrying out is political. You carrying out is political. Me personally? Yeah. yeah. It's certainly this your this personal whole operation. This is a public you're still making a choice to carry it out. This is a public university. I'm, make, I'm making the choice to protect the lives of soldiers that our politicians have decided should be in Afghanistan. Well, the the lives of Afghanistan children. If our soldiers weren't so if well somebody, protected, if somebody you know, our politicians might decide design, to bring them home. Do to design clothing for children uh, in Afghanistan or anywhere else, I'd do it. So you just I think, um, John, you just made a really good point there because yes, what you're saying was sort of the implication of that is that there is funding available if we're looking at developing military technologies. But there isn't the funding available, for example, for music and creative arts which help to create peaceful social relations in our community. I'm not suggesting you're controlling it, but we're certainly here to, uh, to point out the connection between where's funding and who's getting, getting new research funding in this university and who isn't. And I think if we you know, had an honest look at what's the kind of social consequences of that, making military technologies versus making music, I think it's pretty clear to the majority of people which one we prefer to have in our society. <laughs> You're putting the spin on it that uh, we are contributing to the war effort. We're, well, we're you've just stated that you're contributing by helping our troops. So. We're helping our troops. By yeah, well, that's contributing. Them. Do you want your. There's 21 guys being killed out there. Yeah, you know how we could help it? them? We could bring them home instead of continuing. Yeah, but that's. I have no control over that. You do. You do. You know, imagine what you could contribute if this place, if you actually decided not, not to carry it out. Imagine what impact that would have to bring them home. It wouldn't have any impact at all. Because they're just 
go and buy the, the equipment from the States, from China, from everywhere. <laughs> it's, it's a very expensive. interesting model. That's what's really been set up to make our occupation cheaper. Do you think that would make any difference? It, well, it would sort of make a bit of a difference when it comes to balancing the Certainly, budget. Certainly, without weapons that are developed at universities through programs like the DMTC, how would this be possible? If you're in an orchestra... Has, has it been possible up until uh, two years ago when the DMTC came into operation? Mm, well, obviously, it's not just the DMTC that's developing these weapons. So. We're not developing weapons, we're de developing protective yes, systems. What's, what's a joint fall, strike fighter? Like the joint strike fighter and the Bushmaster armoured fighting vehicle. These are weapons yeah. that are being used. It's an armoured personnel carrier. Weapons platforms. That weapons platforms. Yeah. Yeah. The Bushmaster has a 50 gun machine gun. It's a weapon. It's a weapon. You're developing weapons. You're not doing about your own research, what you're researching about. You're developing weapons. 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 You're interrupting my work. That's the idea. Yeah. 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 Over a million Afghans have died in this war. No, no, just twenty-one no, Australians. Oh, okay. Well, I'll have to call yeah. cool security yeah. then. Uh, between the, the music, the students from the music um, department and there have been very little negotiation with the staff. So this is something which the university administration alone has decided on. It's unfair for the students who will be rushed through their degrees and you know, or either forced to go somewhere else. And this is very bad for the local music industry. We've got such a great um, young group of people in bands and whatnot who have we have a really well, we're outraged um, with this university because look, what kind of a university is it where there's no money to be found for music courses there's no money to be found for renewable energy but they can find tens of millions of dollars for war research that's that's absolutely disgusting they're, they're cutting music completely at this university they refuse to buy renewable energy but they can find tens of millions for military research that's fueling the war in Afghanistan. <laughs> Explain to me your intentions here this afternoon. Ah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, okay, well, the university, I mean, the purpose of this lab is to develop military weapons uh, for war, or we say it's components for military weapons. You're not answering my question. Yeah, I, I was going to say, we're, we're here to stop Afghanistan. So basically, we're going to stay here until... Drop it under. Yeah, whenever we feel like it. Yeah. Whenever we really must leave. Okay. That's a more direct answer. Thanks very much. We're just here for a jam. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to join in? We just want to something? play some music and hang out and love life and not kill anyone. Yeah. yeah. I'm loving this shit. I'm loving this. I'm loving this shit. I'm loving this life. I'm loving this life. Have we damaged anything in any way? No. Touch no. my credibility. Only their musical taste. Oh, and musical taste. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Bombs. 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 Money for music and education! Uh -huh.